What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you on how to create a game mode in Unreal Engine. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so creating game modes in Unreal Engine is pretty straightforward. If, of course, you're doing it in Blueprints. So, what we need to do is go into our content browser, just right click, go and create a new Blueprint class. And you will see that right here on our common type of Blueprint class as we have this game mode. Now, the thing is that in Unreal Engine, there are two types of game mode. Now, first of all, let's just go ahead and just, you know, see what the game mode will do in Unreal Engine. In this case, as you can, as you can see in here, it will define the game being played. Like, for example, its rules, scoring, and other uh, types. Now, normally, the score itself, you would want to save it in the game state, which is another sub uh, type of blueprint that will come inside of the game mode um but thing says how that score will uh you know the rules of that score how it will behave and so on that will be through the game mode so there are two types of game modes if we go to all classes and just type game mode you can see that we will have the game mode base which is the one that appears here and then also we have the other game mode okay now what is the difference between these two well, first of all, the game mode base is oriented towards a single player experience, okay? That's because the other game mode, which just says game mode, is more for multiplayer match-based game, as you can see there in the description. And that's because when they initially created Unreal Engine and used it for their own multiplayer game, which was Unreal Tournament, uh, the default way of doing things was more uh, you know multiplayer and match based that's why there's this game mode and then later on they did this other game mode base which contains less okay so this game mode base contains less like events and functions that you can use um so it's more for a generic purpose and for let's say single player games now you can use either both for multiplayer and single player but normally if you're gonna go for multiplayer you're gonna go with a full game mode experience now, in my case, just for this example, I'm just going to pick the game mode base, which is the one that is presented by default by Unreal Engine. Now, it is more uh, constrained, so it has less events and functions. But, you know, there are, if you're a beginner, you will never really get into those uh, until later on. So for you, there will not be any problem for that. OK, so in this case, let's select the game mode base. You can select it either from this button here or this one doesn't really matter now we can name this something as gm standing for game mode and then something as for example your single player or whatever type of game mode you want right if you have one a multiplayer and you this a type of game mode for that much and you will have that name right in this case this is an example so let's go ahead and open up this game mode and you will see it will contain a couple of things so the first thing is that it will be, you know, like a normal blueprint. It will contain an event graph, construction, and viewport. Now, in this case, the viewport will really not make any sense as the game will always be like invisible, right? But you get the idea. Okay, so the other important thing is about the structure of the game mode is that we'll have the class defaults all of the classes. This is extremely important. This is where we will select which default pawn will spawn, in this case, what player it will spawn. In my case, I just have, uh, you know, the an empty project, so I don't have any player blueprints, but in this case, it's selected as the default pawn, right? And we mentioned, you know, that pawns are actors that can be controlled, basically players. And then we have other stuff as the game session class, game state class, which is what I mentioned before, which is another type of blueprint where you would like keep the score, the match and so on. Then the player controller, player state, HUD, uh, spectator, and you, you get it, right? Uh, in my case, I'm not gonna go in detail on those. If you want to see another tutorial on that, I'll uh, go ahead and, and make it. So let me know in the comments below. But basically this will work like any other blueprint, right? We can just go and in the gameplay do stuff like, I don't know, you know, spawn an actor from a class. In this case, this actor might be, I don't know, uh, whatever, right? In this case, we can select maybe just to um, test a... Well, let me just create an actor just to test. Like I said, like, just, you know whatever like I can just put a sphere right in my case I can just spawn that test 
in whatever spawn transform and we'll see that when I press play that will happen. Well, I need to basically set which position. So let me say like zero, zero, zero. And now, uh, very important, to assign the game mode, we have to go into the world settings of the level because right now, of course, we have created the game mode, but we not we have not specified where to use it. So we have to go to world settings, and then you will see that we have a section for game mode, and here is where we're gonna check our GM single player. And we also can change the parameters of the states on here, but normally I recommend to do it in the game mode. So now if I press play, you will see as it is loading because I have a World partition level, I don't know why. Uh, we have this sphere over here, which the game mode spawned. So you get the idea, we can do all sorts of stuff with the game mode. Now, another thing that we can do is access properties. For example, I could have a variable with the, I don't know, player score, imagine, right? This should more be in the game state, but you get the idea, it's just an example, right? So we have a float and this like tank. Now from my test, which is another actor, right? Imagine I want to get, uh, imagine this test object is the player, right? And I want to get at the beginning play where the game starts, what is the score? Well, I can just basically get the game mode of the level itself. And then I have to specify which game mode I want. In this case, it will be the single player because it's the one we're using. So I need to cast. So now I can go ahead and just get the score because that's the variable and I can you know, do things with it like, I don't know, print it, right? So it will appear at the player screen. So now when I press play, you can see the top left, we see 10. That's the score. So you get the idea. That's how you can start to do things with your game mode and so on. So that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine Fat Throw, so check them out. Uh, check my Patreon and YouTube member for a lot of benefits. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials. And now, yes, go ahead. Bye bye.